This LOS is describe the marginal cost of capital schedule, explain why it may be upward sloping with respect to additional capital, and calculate and interpret its break-even points. Marginal cost of capital structure. A company's marginal cost of capital may increase as additional capital is raised, whereas returns to a company's investment opportunities are generally believed to decrease as the company makes additional investments as represented by the investment opportunity schedule. So we've seen this uh, chart before in a previous LOS where on the y-axis we've got the cost or the return and on the uh, x-axis we've got the amount of new capital. So the opportunity investment schedule is coming down whereas we add more capital uh, our marginal cost of capital is rising and the optimal capital budget is where they intersect it. Okay, so we're going to look at this first before we move into the weighted average cost of capital chart. But it's important to understand that we did look before that as a company uh, raises more and more capital, the marginal cost of capital can increase. So now we're seeing that as a company raises more funds, as we said, the costs of the different sources of capital may change, resulting in a change in the weighted average cost of capital for different levels of financing. So you can see now we're using a similar chart, but the y-axis is now the weighted average cost of capital. The x-axis hasn't changed, it's the amount of new capital. So the result is the marginal cost of capital schedule, which we often depict as a graphical form as the weighted average cost of capital for different amounts of capital raised. So we can see that as we raise uh, more and more capital, there's going to be certain breakpoints, and we're also going to look at that later in this LOS. And we're raising more capital, so the cost went up, weighted average cost went up, weighted average cost went up, weighted average cost went up as we added more capital. Because as we may raise more funds, the cost from uh, the different sources of the capital may change and it may increase. Now we're going to look at the same uh, chart here and we're given a schedule. So the amount of new debt in millions and we have an uh, after tax cost of debt, amount of new equity in millions and a cost of equity. Okay, so this is um, uh, a little schedule. So we're looking at if new debt raised is below 2 million euros, the after tax cost is 2%. If the amount of new debt raised is between 2 million euros and less than 5 million, the after-tax cost of debt is 2.5%. And if we have to raise more than 5 million euros, then the after-tax cost of debt is 3%. On the equity side, if we our new equity is less than or equal to uh, 6 million, our cost of equity is 5%. If we're greater than 6 million, less than or equal 8 million, our cost of equity is 7%. And if we're greater than 8 million, our cost of equity is 9%. So it asks a little question here. The company raises capital according to its target capital structure of 40% debt and 60% equity. If the company has a project and needs to raise 8 million euros, what are the costs based on this schedule? Okay, this is not too difficult. We take the 8 million and we multiply it by 40% because that's our target for our debt. And we can see that we need to raise 3.2 million in debt. So we look up to our chart. Well, 3.2 million is greater than 2 million and it's less than or equal to five. So our after-tax cost of the debt is 2.5%, okay? We take the 8 million that we wanna raise and we multiply it by 60% for our equity and we need to raise 4.8 million in equity. So we go up to our chart and our 4.8 million is less than or equal to 6 million. So our cost of equity is 5%. The next thing that we can do is we can calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So the weighted average cost of capital then would equal our 0.4 times 2.5 plus 0.6 times 5%, okay? So let's just bring up our calculator very quickly. And if we do 0.4 times 2.5, we're gonna get 1%, okay? So that's 1%. And if we bring up the calculator again, and we do 0.6 times the 5% on the equity, we're gonna get a nice round number of three. 
So that's 3. 3 plus 1 equals 4%. Okay? So we can indeed see from that schedule, because we're looking at a project of 8 million, which is uh, somewhere around here. Just going to draw the line up, and we can see yet that, yes, indeed, we're on that line there for 4%. So the weighted average cost of capital based on this schedule to raise $8 million is going to be 4%. The last thing that we need to do is just to look at these breakpoints to see where the cost of weighted average cost of capital changes. And there's a little formula for that. The breakpoint is the amount of capital at which the source's uh, cost of capital changes uh, divided by the proportion of the new capital raised from the source. So we can see here if the company raises capital according to its target capital structure, proportions of 40% debt and 60% equity, this company faces a marginal cost of uh, capital schedule that's upward sloping with breakpoints at 5 million, 10 million, 12.5 million, and 13.3 million. So for example, the first breakpoint for debt financing is reached at 2 million because we can see that's where the breakpoint is divided by 0 0.4, that's the proportion of the debt, equals 5 million. So I put that little calculation up there, 2 million euros, which is coming from here, divided by 0.4 equals 5, and indeed you can see that's where the breakpoint is. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.